Sorry for the horrible glare in the background, but last time the 49ers beat the Chiefs was 10 years ago, October 5th, 2014. I don't like our chances because we're not only playing the Chiefs, we're playing the refs. That's why I don't like our chances. Um, I'll give this game to the Chiefs. I just... I just don't see it. I think the NFL wants them to go undefeated. If the Chiefs go undefeated to win the Super Bowl, it's rigged. It's rigged. The whole thing is rigged. Um, the way it's going, the way the calls have gone, the Chiefs' way is ridiculous. They should be at least have two losses. They should not be 5-0. and oh. They should be 3-2. and two. And Kyle Shanahan, I just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll probably get to a 10 point lead. And he'll back it down. Says he's all gas, no brakes. No. He's gas and slams on the brakes. I mean, to beat the Chiefs, we're going to have to keep the score like basically every possession. Um, we played three good quarters, or quarters against them. Twice in the Super Bowl. We lost to him the uh, last year during the regular season. It wasn't even close. It was like 44 to 20 something. Uh, the other time we played him was, of course, Super Bowl 54. No 10 point lead. And then she scored 21 points in the fourth quarter. And the time before that was 2018. And. That's the second closest game besides the overtime game. So, not a lot of confidence to beat the Chiefs. Uh, tomorrow's game, though. What a... What a horrible, horrible Thursday night game. Broncos and Saints. Or Saints and Broncos. What a horrible game. Uh, th Prime Video can't get a get a get a good Thursday night game. I take that back. They had one a couple weeks ago. I went to, uh, oh yeah, back and forth. Yeah, the game went to overtime. Um, so far that was the only good Thursday night game. I mean, the Four Niners Seahawks was shaping up to be a good. Well, if you're Four Niners fans, a good game. But uh, shaping up to be a good game until the 49ers pulled away in the, what, 12 points? Sorry, Seahawks, we uh, had your number since Brock Purdy's been quarterback. Interesting thing, we haven't lost to him in the uh, drawback whites. And Brock Purdy, Purdy hasn't lost to him. So, as long as we're on the road against the Seahawks, keep wearing those throwback whites. We're undefeated uh, against them in the throwback whites. I don't have a card with me for the rest of the te uh, games or pick teams with you. But let's be honest, though. Devontae Adams, he was going to go to the Jets. That was a given. That should have been a surprise to anybody. I don't think the Raiders are going to trade him to anybody else but the Jets. If they were, they are going to ask for a lot more. Know what they got? They gave up a third round pick, which could be a second round pick, uh, uh, depending on his production. And then we have uh, Amari Cooper go to the Bills, and the Bills didn't give up too much to get him. I mean, the Four Niners are probably relying on Ricky Persall. He's back at practice this week. They got third and one. BA's finally showing up. Debo's finally looked like a number one receiver. He got another 100 yard game against the last game. Only on three catches, too. So, um, George Killer got two touchdowns. I guess running back by committee, it doesn't matter. We put whoever back there, they gain yards. It's just, we have a really good running team. Not a really good, except for uh, Puni or Punai or whatever he's allowed. Zero sacks this year. Weird stat. Um, it actually shocked me. I was surprised. He's not allowed any sacks this year on um, passes. Well, of course, it's have to be passes. I don't know about tackles for loss, but no sacks? Week six already? Seven coming up? 
pretty darn good. Um, and we have two Monday night games. I don't understand why one is just exclusively on ESPN Plus. I think it's stupid. I think dual Monday night games are stupid no matter what. Um, like I said, they've been putting out cards on Thursday, so I can't really pick teams. Like I said, if you want me to pick teams with using the points, that could be interesting because I just pick teams straight up. I don't look at the points. I just look head to head. Who's playing who? Can they beat them? Yes or no? Points would make me change my picks very much if I did points. You know, even with the points, I wouldn't take the 49ers. They're two and a half point favorites. They're like 54% to win expectancy. I don't understand against a 5 0 team. That has the refs in their back pocket. I don't get it. Um, I'm still trying to understand that one. So the 49ers play a good game. Like I said, they're not just playing the Chiefs. They're playing the refs. <sighs> yeah, you see my cat in the background. So that's for tomorrow's game. Ah, both teams suck. Car's still out. Ah, I'll pick the Saints. I'll pick the Saints. Just, just, I'll pick the Saints. So, yeah, I hope you have a good uh, Wednesday. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Do another video. I'll actually pick, give you my picks for teams. Ravens, Bucks, Chargers, Cardinals. Should have lost the Cardinals either. Oh, I'm just afraid if we get a 10-point lead, we're going to blow it. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great Wednesday, see you tomorrow maybe, but uh, that's my feeling about the 49ers of T's, we're just, I think we're screwed. <laughs>